Hawaii is mourning the loss of our own Danny Kalekini. He entertained presidents, foreign dignitaries, Hollywood celebrities, visitors, and Hawaii people alike. And for 30 years, he headlined his own showroom at the Kahala Hotel, entertaining six to seven nights a week. He loved doing that. He got to work and travel with another ambassador of Aloha, Duke Kahanamoku. To many of us in the entertainment is his uh, industry, he is Hawaii entertainment royalty. He shared advice, he shared knowledge, but most of all, he shared, of course, aloha. A few of our viewers have written emails to me here in the newsroom saying how Danny always made time for them and they made him feel like they were friends or just the only person in the crowded room. We're told he passed away peacefully at St. Francis Hospice. The family is asking for privacy. Services are pending. The Hawaii Theater is paying tribute to the Hawaii legend. The marquee is lit up saying, in loving memory of Denny Kalikini, he was 85 years old. Our entertainment community is also mourning the passing of award-winning Hawaii recording engineer Milan Bertosa. Many started to find out yesterday that he passed away on New Year's Day of a heart attack in his home in Las Vegas. From the 1990s, Milan engineered over 700 albums, thousands of songs, and live shows. He was a four-time Nahoku Hanohano Award winner. Although he moved to Vegas to care for his mom in 2017, he still, still kept recording Hawaii artists, kept in touch, especially during the pandemic. He is survived by his wife, Maya. Services are pending. In other news, Worlds Collide, that's going to be on the airwaves tonight. The teams of NCIS, including NCIS Hawaii and Los Angeles, they're joining forces for a special crossover event. It's big stuff. We've never done a crossover with these three shows. It's going to be all in one night. You're going to see NCIS, then NCIS Hawaii, and then NCIS LA. It takes three hours to tell this storyline. Well, and It was a big case. The three squads are coming together in Washington, D.C. for a celebration of a former mentor who dies under mysterious circumstances. You can catch that action. That's going to be starting at 7 tonight on KGNB. Steve, Grace? Uh, thanks, Billy.